London becomes the centre of world fashion as robes to be worn at the great June ceremony make their bow. This robe and cap of state will be worn by a baron. As an alternative to a coronet, a baroness may wear a cap of state of crimson velvet enriched with narrow gold braid. Designer Norman Hartnell, who displayed the robes by arrangement with the Earl Marshal's office, discusses a point with the blue mantle perseverant at arms. Because of the near austerity times, an alternative is to be allowed peeresses not possessing robes of state. This robe for a marchioness in crimson velvet has a cape with two rows of ermine tails. The ermine tails denote rank. A duchess, for example, wears four rows. The display is completed by a collection of afternoon and evening dresses which may be worn at the Abbey ceremony. A head covering for ladies has been made compulsory and these are examples of what will be worn by the privileged onlookers. An afternoon dress in pleated lace with matching headdress is an elegant study for an incomparable setting. So the world looks to Britain for new and crowning fabrics coupled with originality of style are inspiring new trends of Elizabethan fashion. <laughs>